Idaho backcountry, a part of Idaho heritage, rich in history and scenic beauty. Ghost towns of the past are plentiful in the backcountry, but only a handful are still occupied by people. And such is the case at Yellow Pine, Idaho. Population 40, give or take a few. Open year round for business, the old mining town is getting the word out that they're a destination community for snowmobilers. It's a great place to come in the backcountry. It's one of the last places, really. And it's not that far from Boise. You can drive, you can either drive in, and there's lots of places to stay and go see, or you can snowmobile in from all kinds of points down the road and snowmobile in and spend the night and go back out. Year-round, we have a general store, and we have a cafe with a bar, and then this bar, and I have pizza. And then we have lots of accommodations. Dick Filler is one of the longtime residents of Yellow Pine. My wife's mother was raised in Stibnite, and when we got married, I had a boat, and we came up here, and um, she showed me some of the country, and I said, you show me more of this, and I'll sell the boat. <coughs> I sold the boat, and we got four-wheeler. And, and Dick's found his calling in the rugged backcountry. With his Canon camera in hand, Filler spends many hours capturing the beauty and history of the area. I like to capture history of the area and things to see. And I like to show people things that they can visit and look at. This is the bunkhouse in the Sun Bar. It was a three-story bunkhouse. Um, you can still, it's still intact enough that you can walk up to the third floor. Winters can get pretty long in Yellow Pine, but for Dick, the lifestyle of year-round living in the backcountry is all about quality of life. This is God's country here. It's peaceful, it's quiet. I'll live a heck of a lot longer here than I live in the valley. Filler plans to sell some of his best prints at the annual Harmonica Festival held each August in Yellow Pine. This is Jake Putnam reporting.